Hey everyone, Trunks Bomb here. I'm going to show you how to install single player commands and a plugin for it. Um, we're going to be doing this on Windows Vista. Installation should be the same for XP and Windows 7. Maybe some slight variation, uh, but you should be able to figure it out. Alright, I've already got .minecraft open, and that's in app data roaming. And I'm, going to go, I'm going to go ahead and delete the bin folder. And it's best to start with a fresh copy of the bin folder. Uh, just in case you had any failed mods or previous mods that might conflict. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And then open up Minecraft, the launcher, and it will re-download the bin folder. Now this is going to take a minute on my computer because my connection is pretty slow here. So this may be fast forwarded. I don't know. Alright. Now that's done, go ahead and close Minecraft, and you'll see that you've got a new bin folder. Alright. Now, if you haven't already, go to the pay the thread for it, and go to the download page, and click direct download or the mirror, whichever one, make sure you're getting the current download. Save it. Extract it. I'm going to use the Windows extractor. You can use WinRAR 7-Zip. Alright. Now you want to highlight all of the class files. And over in your bin folder, open up Minecraft.jar in whichever archive manager you're using. I'm using 7-Zip. First thing you want to do is delete meta imp. If you don't, you might end up with a black screen, which is never good. And then just drag and drop all the class files into Minecraft.jar. It might ask you if you want to do that. Are you sure? Yes. And that's all you need to do inside of Minecraft.jar. So go ahead and close that. The last thing you need to do to install single player command is to drag world edit into the bin folder. It does not go in Minecraft.jar. Once you got that in your bin folder, that's all you need to do for single player command. So go ahead and open up Minecraft and make sure that it works. So far so good, no black screen. Now you can uh, you can load a new world or you can load an existing world, either way it doesn't matter, single player command will not mess up your save file. So when you start up, you should get a message that says single player commands with the version number and a link to the thread on the forums. If you didn't, then you didn't install it right and you need to start over. Uh, so if you got that message, you should be able to bring up your chat window by pressing T. If T doesn't bring it up, then your controls might be bound differently. Make sure you know what your chat key is. Mine is T, which is the default. Alright, so now you can just hit T and start using command. Alright, that's all you need to know to install a single player command. Now let's install a plugin. So go ahead and quit Minecraft and go back to the thread on the forums. And right under the download section is the plugin section. So just pick a plugin. I'll pick Wolf Tamer. And download it. Save it. And all you need to do with plugins is the same thing you did with all the other class files, which is open up Minecraft.jar and drag and drop. Click yes if it asks you if you want to do that, and close Minecraft.jar. Open up Minecraft again and make sure that it works. Log in. Now to make sure that your plugin installed correctly, bring up your chat window and type plugin 
list. It'll list all the available plugins. And you see that Wolf Tamer is in there. So we'll go ahead and use that. And the command is tame wolf all. But you see there's no wolves around me. So let's spawn a wolf first. Oh, look at all those wolves. Tame wolf all. Lots of hearts, lots of taming. Alright. That's all you need to know to install single player commands and plugins. If you need further help, there's a link to the thread in the description. And you can ask us there.